How's it going everybody? This is Mark. Veg out number four for our spring growers. Hopefully you guys are growing as good as our garden is growing. Uh, really loving all of the lettuce. Um, this is one of our favorite varieties because it produces these heads of lettuce. Not just like this looser leaf lettuce, it actually creates these heads. So you can kind of see them from the top. We'll do a pan over here of what exactly is going on. So we have five Sierra Nevada uh, lettuces and this one is our red one. So this one is pretty cool. I don't know if you can see it with the sun, but we'll try and get a better angle. Um, so a little, a little red tinge to it, gonna be really nice in salads. It's a little bit different than this green stuff. Um, go ahead and start using your Sierra Nevada, but uh, as many of you have heard me say, do not cut at the base and just lop this head off unless you really just want to have a whole head of Sierra Nevada. If you want to go the more conservative route and let these keep growing, you're going to want to pick from the outside in, like you're peeling an onion. Um, it's kind of same concept, so not exactly peeling an onion, but conceptually, and you can kind of see. Um, so we just picked this one right here, and this one would be next, and then we have this one and then it just keeps going from the outside in. So that will allow us to have really nice lettuce for sandwiches. Um, I'm thinking about doing kind of an In-N-Out style protein burger uh, with the Sierra Nevada. It's really close. It's like a mix between an iceberg and a butterhead. Um, so a lot of, lot of good things you can use with this. You can hear the crunch, just so crisp. I love it. That's the sound of me eating. Mmm. It's really, really fresh. Uh, and other news, this is part of our mescaline mix. So this is, was one of the Asian greens that came out of it. And it is getting huge. We're probably gonna start using some of the leaves. Uh, I'm not sure the exact type of Asian green that it is, um, but I wanna say it's gotta be related to mustard or cabbage family. Uh, our mint is getting bigger and bigger, really explosive growth, uh, smells amazing. Um, if you guys want to start using your mint, you can as well. You can just pick pick leaves off. Again, going to want to start at the base. Pick these ones first. Let the plant keep growing. Ooh, that's a good combination with the lettuce. Uh, we have our chard in the back because that doesn't need as much light. And we are tracking our tomato. We're going to start the tomato tracker and do some posts. But you can see that it is getting, it's actually getting... A thicker stalk up towards the top reaching for more sunlight and then eventually we're gonna we're gonna trellis it out on this pole to help support more growth and then that way we can use the rest of the garden for sunlight and hopefully get this tomato off towards the side off on this post so it's not blocking any of the sunlight because as you guys know who have grown with us last year these tomato plants get huge you can already see see if I can focus here uh, those flowers coming in, those are going to open up and be our first tomatoes. So excited about those. And our cilantro, we're still using a lot of our cilantro. And um, you guys might notice like some of it starts to turn brown, like these little tinges. So when we have these really hot, hot days or hot couple days in a row, um, some of the cilantro is going to start yellowing or browning. And that's just because of the heat. Here you can see some kind of right right there. Um, nothing to be worried about. I'm even going to eat that. Uh, our one in our buddy is showing a better sign of it. Here you can kind of see it. This is what happens on the really, really hot days. Um, there's nothing you can really do about it except give them some more shade. You can move them to the back if you'd like. Um, and you can see how much we've already started using. Um, yeah, uh, if you guys haven't tried our chimichurri recipe, highly recommend you do. All right, before this gets too lengthy and boring, here is our arugula that we cut the main stem from. You can kind of see in there, we cut the main stem and we got a lot more growth. But as you can see, this thing really wants to go to seed. Here's another, another main stem with it trying to flower and then another one over here. So we're actually gonna wait a couple days and we're gonna cut both of these stems and hopefully get some really young, really nice growth. Um, there you can see this is our other one where we cut the main stem. I don't know why my camera's having a hard time focusing. Um, and then we got all of this new fresh uh, growth over here. Peppers, these guys are slow growing, 
but they are looking nice. Some really bright green. And oh, just caught this little guy. That is a culprit right there. So you guys might think grasshoppers are cool, but they actually eat through. There you can see. These grasshoppers will eat through an entire garden. Um, they look really awesome. We don't want to kill them, but we definitely don't want them on our garden. So we are gonna go ahead and flick that guy off. And um, we're gonna hope that uh, we get some more like bees, uh, some more spiders in the garden uh, to fend off stuff like grasshoppers and really make it more diverse uh, of a garden. Uh, so we have a couple predators in there um, that are that are watching out for us. Uh, quick reminder, use one of your nutrients. We already did. Fill up your reservoir. If you guys have any questions, use help at growveggiestoday.com. Bye.